Hi, this is Skandra and you're watching Get Ready With Me. I'm going to show you a makeup routine. We'll call it a date night makeup. Um, but I already moisturized my face, so I was just going to just tell you um, what I used. Um, I used Eminence mango steam daily resurfacing serum and or concentrate uh, what i love about this is that it is lactic acid based and it actually resurfaces your skin um, every day that you use it i also am allergic to sunflower oil so um, a lot of cosmetics a lot of face creams um, unfortunately a lot of food has sunflower oil in it and i have to avoid it so all the products that i'm using today uh, don't have sunflower oil in them um, and so I have to use a baby face lotion and it's um, by Waletta, it's Calendula. It's a very simple mixture of things. I really love this brand. Um, I use their body oil. I use so many other products, um, but it's uh, very simple and very hydrating and it actually makes your skin feel like velvet and I love it. All right, so the first thing um, I do is I use Creaseless Concealer by Tarte. Um, I use this under my eyes and lightly. I mean, it, a little bit goes a long way, but I'll literally just dot little parts of my face. Um, and I use a, a brush usually in this shape. I love brushes that um, have compact bristles and more of like a, a line shape to them because um, they're easier to maneuver and um, because the bristles are so compact, it creates a very even base to work off of. Um, my mirror is over here, so I might end up looking that way a few times. Um, blend it in. All right, the next thing I do. Oh yeah, as for coverage, um, I kind of do it gradually over the course of doing my makeup because um, I like to put on a pressed powder towards the end of doing my makeup to kind of uh, seal everything in. So um, the next thing I'm gonna do is bronzer. The bronzer I use is uh, Chanel and it's huge and it lasts a long time and it's really good. Um, I will focus on my cheekbones as usual. I usually take it up to my hairline. Um, I usually go overboard with it too, because like I said, the pressed powder at the end will actually even everything out. Um, but I like this stuff because it actually looks fairly natural. Um, and it really does contour your face pretty well. Um, I, you know, people do their nose and uh, all certain parts of their face, but I don't really do that. I kind of just, I would say I do a messy base. Um, I'm also very quick about my makeup and maybe that's a bad thing, but I don't like spending too much time on it. So I might need more. I think in person it looks much darker than it does in the video, but voila, we will continue. Um, the next thing I do is the pressed powder I was talking about. Um, oh no, actually, no, I missed blush. All right, the blush I use is Tarte, and the color is called Central. Um, I like to do the little like circle-shaped um, clown cheeks is like what I like to call it. Um, but I will blend it in the end. But I just feel like it makes me look a little more alive, especially being someone who spends a lot of time inside music all right um, so now we're moving on to the pressed powder the pressed powder that I use is by Jane Iredale um, it's pure pressed base it's mineral foundation I actually put these refills into my compact and you can tell that I've been using this for like five years because it's a uh, chipping um, it's usually looks much more beautiful than that um, but this is more of a round brush for the pressed powder um, and I kind of just put it all over the place. I kind of try to avoid the um, parts where I put blush and bronzer just because I don't want to wipe it all off. Um, but it does soften the bronzer and blush. I like to put some on my neck because my face and my body should probably be somewhat the same color or else. 
I do like putting some on my eyelids, almost as a primer for the eyeshadow we're gonna do. All right, this is my base. Um, I will put highlighter on, but I like to wait at the end because it's kind of like the frost frosting on the cake. Um, all right, my eyes. I'm gonna do something a little strange, but this is primer, I'm sorry, this is Tarte primer. It's honestly a foundation primer, um, but it's a sample I got and I'm in Paris right now. Usually we're in Los Angeles, um, but in Paris, I don't have all my stuff. So we're gonna work with what we get. Um, so I put a primer on my eyelids and then I'm going to be doing a very bright eyeshadow line around my eyes. Um, it really depends on your skin color and uh, your eye color and your hair color, uh, what color would look best um, for that line. But what I like to use in my favorite palette that my friend introduced me to was uh, this Huda Beauty. And um, you can see it's like really nice colors. I like to use this bright kind of reddish pink. Um, I don't have my um, eyeshadow brushes with me. So I'm gonna be using a Q-tip. Um, which I wouldn't recommend, but I've done it before, so I can do it again. So as you can see, um, I'm doing this line uh, on the top part of my eye, and now I'm going to move on to the bottom. And I'm basically using it as you would like a liquid eyeliner, um, yeah, just creating a line um, with this really bright color. And you can just uh, keep building on the line if it doesn't feel bright enough. Um, if I'm wearing this at night, I like to build uh, on the line um, because then it really pops. Cool. All right, so we got the red, reddish hue around the eyeballs. Um, the next thing I will do is mascara. Um, my favorite mascara is by Thrive Cosmetics. Um, I have really long eyelashes naturally. Um, they're so long, like I can't even wear sunglasses because it hits uh, them. I thank my parents for that. They both have like two inch eyelashes. <laughs> um, but this stuff really accentuates the length. Um, it also, I've like seen, I've had friends who've used this and if their eyelashes are short, it makes them look really long. Um, so I definitely recommend this if you're looking for very long, um, high volume lashes. So I'm gonna put it on. So as you can see, pretty good. So I kind of like the like twiggy look. Um, I like to take uh, eyelash brushes. Um, or mascara brushes and brush down my bottom eyelashes so they kind of uh, really stand out. Um, because of how much mascara I'm using, I expect to um, get it on the top of my eyelid. So one thing I like to do is I like to take a, an old mascara brush, um, sorry, not an old mascara brush, but a, a, an empty mascara brush, um, maybe from, and uh, kind of just clean off all the clumps. Um, sometimes I'll even use my fingers, but for the sake of not jabbing my eyes with my finger tips, I'm gonna do that. All right, um, see, I already have some mascara on my top eyelid, so I'm gonna wipe that off, cool. All right, crazy eyelashes. So um, the next thing that I'm gonna do are my eyebrows. Um, I like to use an eyebrow gel first and just lightly shape them so that they're not uh, looking like caterpillars. Um, so I have this uh, eyebrow powder that my friend gave me because it didn't match her uh, eyebrow color and it matched mine. So she let me keep it. Um, and I just kind of like, while the gel is still drying, kind of dab the powder in. And in this scenario, I'm gonna be using a uh, 
Q-tip to kind of blend it, but normally you'd use like an eyebrow brush or something. Um, it's Q-tip day. I'm trying to only use three, so I'm not too wasteful. Um, cool. All right, uh, the next thing I wanna do is use a highlighter. I'm gonna highlight uh, the tops of the cheekbones and also the inside parts of my eyes. Um, I use Dior and it's a uh, Dior Nude Luminizer and I use a brush, some people use their fingers. I really love highlighters. Um, if you blend them really well, um, I think that if you put enough on and blend the edges, you actually really get this uh, glow and when light hits it, it's very beautiful to me. Um, I'm happy someone invented highlighters. I don't know if you can even see it, but I can and I like it. Um, all right, next thing I do is I uh, wipe off my lips because when you're putting all this stuff on your face, some of it gets on your lip. And doesn't look, doesn't look good. Um, I like to just use like a general um, lip gloss. It's clear, the the um, label is already off of it, so I don't know what it is or where I got it from. Um, but I kind of just use it to moisturize my lips while I am wiping everything off so that they don't become chapped or dehydrated. All right, so I guess with my lips, I will do something a little bit intense, maybe to match my eyes. Um, this is a Sephora, Sephora red lipstick. Um, also has the name rubbed off of it. So um, whatever color you like, just has to match your, uh, your skin. Um, I don't use the planner. I like kind of having uh, rough edges. I also like to do kind of an excessive amount. Um, especially with red lipstick, because if you miss a spot, it looks very strange. Um, all right. So it's a lot. And then the historical lip, <laughs> lip tab. I don't know what to call it. Um, cool. So that is my makeup look. Um, and this is not something I'd wear most of the time, but I think if I am going to go on a date with my husband, why not? Um, but it is quarantine, so maybe I'll just go nowhere. Um, I hope you enjoyed that and um, you, if you want to watch other people do makeup tutorials, you should subscribe to Jamo, this YouTube channel. And um, I am Skandra. If you want to listen to my music, you can look up Skandra anywhere on any uh, streaming platform. And there's a music video out for a song called Rivers, um, which was shot here in Paris, actually. Um, all right, well, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, I would be happy to answer anything. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Okay.